You're listening to CentralCoastRadio.com, and now we are going to take a look at uh, a brand new kind of action thriller that has snuck into Australian cinemas because freelance failed to have a media screening here in Australia, despite the fact that it's from the director who, of course, did the first Taken movie with Liam Neeson, um, director Pierre Morel. Now, this is a very, very surprising film because it's probably going to take a lot of people by surprise. Um, This film centres around a very interesting character called Mason Patisse, and it's played by John Cena, And why I'm saying this is an interesting character is because the first five minutes of this film is kind of shot from his point of view. And it gives his backstory um, of someone who went to law school and then the thought of being a lawyer for the rest of his life frightened him. The idea of being a lawyer and having like the, the typical suburban home, coming home to a family every day really, really terrified him. So he did something that his family and friends would never have guessed that he would do. He joined the military and became a special operations officer. During this time, he married his wife, Jenny, played by Alice Eve. But then something catastrophic happened. Um, Mason was selected to go on a a mission to assassinate the president of a... um, fictitious South American country. Um, that president is called President Venegas and is played by Juan Pablo Raba. But unfortunately for Mason, the moment that his mission's helicopter set, like basically was flying over the country, it was shot down. Mason was already half out of the helicopter when the incident happened. And the result was an injury to his back that meant that he could no longer be um, in the military. So he's had to go back to his law career. And now he's still married to Jenny, but it's an unhappy marriage. He's bored with his job um, and he's making bad choices in his marriage, especially when it comes to his daughter. Jenny has had enough and she puts the ultimatum to him to, to leave until things are better for him. Now, at the same time, one of his former military um, uh, buddies, Sebastian Earl, played by Christian Slater, contacts him and says that he's got a mission for him. Sebastian has set up a, a private kind of military firm that does work for other governments, um, and they're branching out now into personal security. And they've been hired by a um, journalist who was once celebrated, uh, Claire Wellington, played by Alison Brie, um, who's kind of gone through a bit of a downfall over the years. She rushed a story to air that ended up being not fact-checked correctly, and that brought about the demise of her career. Now she's trying to resurrect her career. She's been working as kind of a celebrity um, online journalist, a job that you can tell that she hates, but she decides that this might be the perfect opportunity to get her career back on track when she is offered the opportunity to fly to South America and interview President Venegas. Now, she, in order to do that, she wants to take some security and soon that role is given to Mason. Um, he, he goes basically to give some separation between him and Jenny for a while and for him to bring in some much needed cash, but things don't go to plan on the first, in the first few hours that, um, that Claire and Mason arrive in South America, the president is almost assassinated and a coup breaks out. Now they find themselves on the run. Um, from these rebels who are coming after the president. And Mason, of course, already hates this president, thinks he's a dictator, um, remembers that this is the guy whose men shot down his helicopter. So suddenly, um, him, Claire, and the president are stuck in the jungle fighting for survival together. Now, this is where this film takes a really weird turn because one of the things that I feel about this film and is a little bit of an issue 
is the fact that this film doesn't really seem to know what its tone is supposed to be. Um, in a way, you almost feel with some of the more serious storylines that end up coming out in this film, and some of the moral questions that this film asks are absolutely brilliant, and they're questions that we haven't seen raised in cinema before. So they're things that really stop and make you think about what happens when um, wars break out in countries or coups happen kind of thing. Um, this film is hard-hitting, but the thing is, there seems to be this comedy kind of element um, that... that constantly bubbles underneath the surface there's times in this movie where they kind of make the president seem comical in fact i kept on um thinking of the performances in the in the nicholas cage film recently where um he was playing himself and he went to to visit a rich guy in another country that that same kind of comedy seems to bubble out throughout this film um even around the character of claire which, of course, you kind of expect from Alison Brie. If you're a community fan like I am, you you would have known her um, as playing um, the neurotic character that she did in Community. So you kind of expect that from her. So uh, to be honest, with the way, the tone that this film was taking at the very start, when Alison Brie popped up on the screen playing Claire, I was thinking, oh, wow, she's, she's branching out to do drama. But her character as well kind of has these comical moments. Um which kind of seems weird because this film is very hard hitting. It touches on a lot of different things. It touches on um, post-traumatic stress that, that Mason is going through and what it's like for a veteran when they um, have to pull out of the, the military and go back to having a normal family life and how difficult it is. But this film for me comes into its own when you start to learn things about um, President Venegas that there's stuff about him that Mason would never have known. Um, and when you learn what his life is like and what's going on in his life and how his country is being treated by the rest of the world, that's when this film comes into its own power. But that's the moments that make you feel like this film should have had the feeling of Olympus has fallen. Um, I kept on thinking, at, like watching this film that this film feels like that kind of difference between Olympus has fallen and White House Down. If you remember White House Down, the Channon Tatum film had comedy all the way through it. Whereas Olympus has fallen was basically telling the same story, but was um, hard hitting with Gerard Butler and one of the best action films that we've seen over the last decade or so. It's the same with freelance freelance feels like the White House Down version of Olympus has fallen in that it is touching on these really, really serious topics, but it keeps on um, taking the comedy route at times throughout this film, which is a bit of a shame because John Cena here, um, to me, is playing a very important character. You could easily kind of like, like shuffle him off as the muscle-bound action hero, but that's not what Mason is here. Mason is playing a damaged veteran who is trying to put his life back together and is now being kind of called back into this lifestyle that he loves but isn't physically up to anymore, plus the fact that he is having to face off with the man that he feels is responsible for putting him in the position that he's in and for killing his buddies. Um... John Cena does that really, really well. And, and when he's doing the serious part of this role, you, you realize that he is becoming an actor that can do this kind of role now. Um, it, it almost feels at times when the comedy comes in that it's kind of out of place. The same with Alison Brie. Um, it's kind of weird. There'll be a scene where um, you can tell she's trying to be hard-hitting and serious. And then the next scene, there'll be another comedic element in there but i think like as i said before the one who really really feels that is um juan pablo raba who has that constantly happen with his character where there'll be a really touching scene where you're learning something about him as a president and in the next scene again he's almost like this mr bean comical character um kind of thing so this film has a really really weird tone and i don't know whether or not um I don't know whether or not that is because the director and the producers 
wanted to kind of attract a bigger audience to this film so that it's that it's real message which is an important message is seen by real people or whether they just didn't know whether they wanted to make an action film or an action comedy but uh look i think for most people out there you're going to enjoy this film it's a lot better than what i thought it was going to be it just that tonal problem of uh not being sure whether it's uh a comedy or uh, an action thriller with a serious tone it it doesn't know which one it wants to be and that really frustrated me um all throughout the film but look i still really enjoyed this film and i love the important message that it's trying to get across i just wish they could have settled on a tone and and gone with that but still I'm going to give this one three and a half out of five because I think it is a very good film with a very powerful message. They just needed to work out that tone. So three and a half out of five for Freelance for me. It is um, showing at at limited cinemas, so you might have to check your local cinema guide to see if it's showing near you, but uh, definitely go and give Freelance a look. I'm giving it three and a half out of five. You're on centralcoastradio.com.